You know, like we're all in the same boat. Brazil is out, Germany is out. out. Yeah, we're like, I'm sorry, guys, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Advent and how Advent is a period before Christmas and how we celebrate Christmas and all that. Um, so right now, before we jump into the video, right, we have a question for you mm -hmm. because we're going to talk a lot about Advent and all of that. But the question for you is, what are you most looking forward to this Christmas? Yeah. So talk in your little groups. And then, yeah. I mean, for me, it would be like food, I think. Oh, yeah. To be fair. You know. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, share with your partners, all right? Yeah. So hopefully you talked about what you're most looking forward to this Christmas. Yeah. I mean, we said it's food. Yep. But we, as you can see, we changed <laughs> our location because we're also really looking forward to Christmas trees and all of that. Absolutely. So, but I mean, it looks great. But isn't there something missing? Hmm. Can you guess what it is? Wait, wait, wait. Three, two, one. <gasps> yes. It's slides. It's slides exactly. So we know that during uh, the Christmas time, we have lights all over town, or sometimes all over our house, and on the Christmas tree. And light is really like present in this time of year, and I absolutely love it as well. Uh, and there's one thing that for us, like of course the lights and like hanging and all that, it's it's part of the Christmas tradition. But for us, Christmas is all about Jesus and celebrating how Jesus was born on this time of the year. And, um, you know, just getting into those feelings and, and remembering that. And there is a Bible verse that says in John um, 8, 12, that sa Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And that's what we believe that Jesus can do in our lives, that he actually brings something up in us that he builds us up and that uh, he actually brings light into whoever is darkness and for us it's a big thing and is it a really strong message of hope because imagine like if you find yourself in a dark place i'm sure something comes to your mind when you think of that um, when you think of having the light of life it's something else it's a sign of hope it's a sign of love and that's what we believe that christmas is all about and that's what we look forward to celebrate during this Advent time. Yeah, we do. So for us as Christians, Christmas is not just about the presents, the food, even though that's great. Mm -hmm. But it's not the main <laughs> thing. The main thing for us is that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And the Jews back in the days, they waited ages, like literally yeah. hundreds of years. And they had all these promises along the way of like, there's going to be a savior, there's going to be someone coming into this world that brings hope, that brings light into the darkness. And then finally it came true, so they were absolutely joyful. And this is why for us as Christians, Christmas and Advent time, all of that mm -hmm. is a sign of joy. And it's this time where we celebrate together, where we get together with family and friends and we yeah. celebrate that Jesus came into this world. And that is what we celebrate each year. Yeah. So our challenge for you this Christmas is find your local church and get involved in some way. Yeah. Go to a Christmas service. There are, most churches during the Christmas and Advent time do a lot of different events. So try to get involved ever somewhere. Yeah. And, and and also try to find joy in the small things. Yeah. I know sometimes like we get caught up in small things like, oh, I'm gonna get together with my family, or oh, I don't really like when, I don't know, my aunt bakes yeah. that pie, or something like that. I know it's easy to get caught up with those things because it just, be it, sometimes it becomes a tradition. So yeah, you do that every year, every year, every year. And, uh, but try to remember and try to appreciate those small things. Appreciate the people around you, the family that have, the provision and the food and the heating sometimes that you have. Uh, because we're struggling some uh, yep. through this time. Uh, so try to keep that in mind, try to show compassion to others and try to remember that Jesus is the main reason for it. Um, so try to keep that in mind and that's a challenge for you to try to get involved in uh, your local church and try to appreciate your family and everything that you have. Okay? 
And then the next year, <laughs> we're going to see us again. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to come along and if you want to know more about Christianity, about Jesus, mm -hmm. about the light of the world, or you want to get to know us a bit better, come to a Christian Union on a Friday in room 20 yeah. or meet us at Youth Church on Wednesday. Exactly. We have Youth Church every first and third uh, Wednesday of the month. And the other Wednesdays, we actually get together in room 20 as well to do Alpha or to just get together and, you know, do small groups or things. So, come along we'd love to see you there bye bye and merry, merry christmas, christmas. <laughs>